A number is a mathematical object used to count, measure, and label. The original examples are the natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth. A written symbol like 5 that represents a number is called a numeral. A numeral system is an organized way to write and manipulate this type of symbol, for example the Hindu-Arabic numeral system allows combinations of numerical digits like 5 and 0 to represent larger numbers like 50. A numeral in linguistics can refer to a symbol like 5, the words or phrase that names a number, like 500, or other words that mean a specific number, like dozen. In addition to their use in counting and measuring, numerals are often used for labels as with telephone numbers, for ordering as with serial numbers, and for codes as with ISBNs. In common usage, number may refer to a symbol, a word or phrase, or the mathematical object. In mathematics, the notion of number has been extended over the centuries to include zero, negative numbers, rational numbers such as one-half and minus two-thirds, real numbers such as square root two and pi, and complex numbers, which extend the real numbers with a square root of minus one and its combinations with real numbers by addition and multiplication. Calculations with numbers are done with arithmetical operations, the most familiar being addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and exponentiation. Their study or usage is called arithmetic. The same term may also refer to number theory, the study of the properties of numbers. Besides their practical uses, numbers have cultural significance throughout the world. For example, in Western society, the number 13 is regarded as unlucky, and a million may signify a lot, though it is now regarded as pseudoscience. Belief in a mystical significance of numbers, known as numerology, permeated ancient and medieval thought. Numerology heavily influenced the development of Greek mathematics, stimulating the investigation of many problems in number theory which are still of interest today. During the 19th century, mathematicians began to develop many different abstractions which share certain properties of numbers and may be seen as extending the concept. Among the first were the hypercomplex numbers, which consist of various extensions or modifications of the complex number system. Today, number systems are considered important special examples of much more general categories such as rings and fields, and the application of the term number is a matter of convention, without fundamental significance. Topic. History Topic. Numerals Numbers should be distinguished from numerals, the symbols used to represent numbers. The Egyptians invented the first ciphered numeral system, and the Greeks followed by mapping their counting numbers onto Ionian and Doric alphabets. Roman numerals, a system that used combinations of letters from the Roman alphabet, remained dominant in Europe until the spread of the superior Hindu-Arabic numeral system around the late 14th century, and the Hindu-Arabic numeral system remains the most common system for representing numbers in the world today. The key to the effectiveness of the system was the symbol for zero, which was developed by ancient Indian mathematicians around 500 AD. Topic. First use of numbers Bones and other artifacts have been discovered with marks cut into them that many believe are tally marks. These tally marks may have been used for counting elapsed time, such as numbers of days, lunar cycles or keeping records of quantities, such as of animals. A tallying system has no concept of place value as in modern decimal notation, which limits its representation of large numbers. Nonetheless tallying systems are considered the first kind of abstract numeral system. The first known system with place value was the Mesopotamian base 60 system ca. 3400 BC and the earliest known base 10 system dates to 3100 BC in Egypt. Topic. Zero. The first known documented use of zero dates to AD 628, and appeared in the Brahmasvatasiddhanta, the main work of the Indian mathematician Brahmagupta. 
He treated zero as a number and discussed operations involving it, including division. By this time, the 7th century, the concept had clearly reached Cambodia as Khmer numerals, and documentation shows the idea later spreading to China and the Islamic world. Brahmagupta's Brahmasvatasiddhanta is the first book that mentions zero as a number, hence Brahmagupta is usually considered the first to formulate the concept of zero. He gave rules of using zero with negative and positive numbers, such as zero plus a positive number is a positive number, and a negative number plus zero is the negative number. The Brahmasvatasiddhanta is the earliest known text to treat zero as a number in its own right, rather than as simply a placeholder digit in representing another number as was done by the Babylonians or as a symbol for a lack of quantity as was done by Ptolemy and the Romans. The use of zero as a number should be distinguished from its use as a placeholder numeral in place value systems. Many ancient texts used zero. Babylonian and Egyptian texts used it. Egyptians used the word NFR to denote zero balance in double entry accounting. Indian texts used a Sanskrit word shunya or shunya to refer to the concept of void. In mathematics texts this word often refers to the number zero. In a similar vein, Panini 5th century BC used the null zero operator in the Ashtadhyayi, an early example of an algebraic grammar for the Sanskrit language also see Pingala. There are other uses of zero before Brahmagupta, though the documentation is not as complete as it is in the Brahmasvatasiddhanta. Records show that the ancient Greeks seemed unsure about the status of zero as a number, they asked themselves, how can nothing be something? Leading to interesting philosophical and, by the medieval period, religious arguments about the nature and existence of zero and the vacuum. The paradoxes of Zeno of Elia depend in part on the uncertain interpretation of zero. The ancient Greeks even questioned whether one was a number. The late Olmec people of south-central Mexico began to use a symbol for zero, a shell glyph, in the New World, possibly by the 4th century BC but certainly by 40 BC, which became an integral part of Maya numerals and the Maya calendar. Mayan arithmetic used base 4 and base 5 written as base 20. Sanchez in 1961 reported a base 4, base 5, finger, abacus. By 130 AD, Ptolemy, influenced by Hipparchus and the Babylonians, was using a symbol for zero a small circle with a long overbar within a sexagesimal numeral system otherwise using alphabetic Greek numerals. Because it was used alone, not as just a placeholder, this Hellenistic zero was the first documented use of a true zero in the Old World. In later Byzantine manuscripts of his Syntaxis Mathematica Almagest, the Hellenistic zero had morphed into the Greek letter omicron otherwise meaning 70. Another true zero was used in tables alongside Roman numerals by 525 first known use by Dionysus Exiguus, but as a word, nulla meaning nothing, not as a symbol. When division produced zero as a remainder, nile, also meaning nothing, was used. These medieval zeros were used by all future medieval computists calculators of Easter. An isolated use of their initial, n, was used in a table of Roman numerals by Bede or a colleague about 725, a true zero symbol. Topic. Negative numbers The abstract concept of negative numbers was recognized as early as 150 BC in China. The nine chapters on the mathematical art contains methods for finding the areas of figures. Red rods were used to denote positive coefficients, black for negative. The first reference in a Western work was in the 3rd century AD in Greece. Diophantus referred to the equation equivalent to 4x plus 20 equals 0 the solution is negative in Arithmetica, saying that the equation gave an absurd result. During the 600s, negative numbers were in use in India to represent debts. Diophantus' previous reference was discussed more explicitly by Indian mathematician Brahmagupta, in Brahmasvatasiddhanta 628, who used negative numbers to produce the general form quadratic formula that remains in use today. However, in the 12th century in India, Bhaskara gives negative roots for quadratic equations but says the negative value is in this case not to be taken, for it is inadequate, people do not approve of negative roots. 
European mathematicians, for the most part, resisted the concept of negative numbers until the 17th century, although Fibonacci allowed negative solutions in financial problems where they could be interpreted as debts chapter 13 of Liber Abbasi, 1202, and later as losses in flows. At the same time, the Chinese were indicating negative numbers by drawing a diagonal stroke through the right most non-zero digit of the corresponding positive numbers numeral. The first use of negative numbers in a European work was by Nicolas Chouquet during the 15th century. He used them as exponents, but referred to them as absurd numbers. As recently as the 18th century, it was common practice to ignore any negative results returned by equations on the assumption that they were meaningless, just as René Descartes did with negative solutions in a Cartesian coordinate system. Topic. Rational numbers It is likely that the concept of fractional numbers dates to prehistoric times. The ancient Egyptians used their Egyptian fraction notation for rational numbers in mathematical texts such as the Rhind Mathematical Papyrus and the Cahoon Papyrus. Classical Greek and Indian mathematicians made studies of the theory of rational numbers, as part of the general study of number theory. The best known of these is Euclid's Elements, dating to roughly 300 BC. Of the Indian texts, the most relevant is the Stananga Sutra, which also covers number theory as part of a general study of mathematics. The concept of decimal fractions is closely linked with decimal place value notation, the two seem to have developed in tandem. For example, it is common for the Jain Math Sutra to include calculations of decimal fraction approximations to pi or the square root of 2. Similarly, Babylonian math texts had always used sexagesimal base 60 fractions with great frequency. Topic: <laughs> Irrational numbers. The earliest known use of irrational numbers was in the Indian Sulba Sutras composed between 800 and 500 BC. The first existence proofs of irrational numbers is usually attributed to Pythagoras, more specifically to the Pythagorean Hippasus of Metapontum, who produced a most likely geometrical proof of the irrationality of the square root of 2. The story goes that Hippasus discovered irrational numbers when trying to represent the square root of 2 as a fraction. However, Pythagoras believed in the absoluteness of numbers, and could not accept the existence of irrational numbers. He could not disprove their existence through logic, but he could not accept irrational numbers, and so, allegedly and frequently reported, he sentenced Hippasus to death by drowning. To impede spreading of this disconcerting news, the 16th century brought final European acceptance of negative integral and fractional numbers. By the 17th century, mathematicians generally used decimal fractions with modern notation. It was not, however, until the 19th century that mathematicians separated irrationals into algebraic and transcendental parts, and once more undertook the scientific study of irrationals. It had remained almost dormant since Euclid. In 1872, the publication of the theories of Karl Weierstrass by his pupil E. Kosak, Eduard Heine, Krell, 74, Georg Cantor, Annalen, 5, and Richard Dedekind was brought about. In 1869, Charles Marais had taken the same point of departure as Heine, but the theory is generally referred to the year 1872. Weierstrass's method was completely set forth by Salvatore Pincherel, 1880, and Dedekinds has received additional prominence through the author's later work, 1888, and endorsement by Paul Tannery, 1894. Weierstrass, Cantor, and Heine base their theories on infinite series, while Dedekind founds his on the idea of a cut schnitt in the system of real numbers, separating all rational numbers into two groups having certain characteristic properties. The subject has received later contributions at the hands of Weierstrass, Kronecker, Krell, 101, and Marais. The search for roots of quintic and higher degree equations was an important development. The Abel Ruffini theorem, Ruffini 1799, Abel 1824, showed that they could not be solved by radicals, formulas involving only arithmetical operations and roots. Hence it was necessary to consider the wider set of algebraic numbers, all solutions to polynomial equations. Galois 1832 linked polynomial equations to group theory giving rise to the field of Galois theory. 
Continued fractions, closely related to irrational numbers and due to Cataldi, 1613, received attention at the hands of Euler, and at the opening of the 19th century were brought into prominence through the writings of Joseph Louis Lagrange. Other noteworthy contributions have been made by Druckenmüller 1837, Kuhns 1857, Lemke 1870, and Gunther 1872. Ramus 1855 first connected the subject with determinants, resulting, with the subsequent contributions of Heine, Mobius, and Gunther, in the theory of Kettenbrook determinanten. Topic: Transcendental numbers and reals. The existence of transcendental numbers was first established by Liouville 1844, 1851. Hermite proved in 1873 that E is transcendental and Lindemann proved in 1882 that pi is transcendental. Finally, Cantor showed that the set of all real numbers is uncountably infinite but the set of all algebraic numbers is countably infinite, so there is an uncountably infinite number of transcendental numbers. Topic. Infinity and infinitesimals. The earliest known conception of mathematical infinity appears in the Yajur Veda, an ancient Indian script, which at one point states, If you remove a part from infinity or add a part to infinity, still what remains is infinity. Infinity was a popular topic of philosophical study among the Jain mathematicians c. 400 BC. They distinguished between five types of infinity, infinite in one and two directions, infinite in area, infinite everywhere, and infinite perpetually. Aristotle defined the traditional Western notion of mathematical infinity. He distinguished between actual infinity and potential infinity, the general consensus being that only the latter had true value. Galileo Galilei's two new sciences discussed the idea of one-to-one -one correspondences between infinite sets. But the next major advance in the theory was made by Georg Cantor. In 1895, he published a book about his new set theory, introducing, among other things, transfinite numbers and formulating the continuum hypothesis. In the 1960s, Abraham Robinson showed how infinitely large and infinitesimal numbers can be rigorously defined and used to develop the field of non standard analysis. The system of hyperreal numbers represents a rigorous method of treating the ideas about infinite and infinitesimal numbers that had been used casually by mathematicians, scientists, and engineers ever since the invention of infinitesimal calculus by Newton and Leibniz. A modern geometrical version of infinity is given by projective geometry, which introduces ideal points at infinity, one for each spatial direction. Each family of parallel lines in a given direction is postulated to converge to the corresponding ideal point. This is closely related to the idea of vanishing points in perspective drawing. Topic. Complex numbers The earliest fleeting reference to square roots of negative numbers occurred in the work of the mathematician and inventor Heron of Alexandria in the 1st century AD, when he considered the volume of an impossible frustum of a pyramid. They became more prominent when in the 16th century closed formulas for the roots of 3rd and 4th degree polynomials were discovered by Italian mathematicians such as Niccolò Fontana Tartaglia and Gerolamo Cardano. It was soon realized that these formulas, even if one was only interested in real solutions, sometimes required the manipulation of square roots of negative numbers. This was doubly unsettling since they did not even consider negative numbers to be on firm ground at the time. When René Descartes coined the term, imaginary, for these quantities in 1637, he intended it as derogatory. See imaginary number for a discussion of the reality. Of complex numbers, a further source of confusion was that the equation minus 1 2 equals minus 1 minus 1 equals minus 1 Display style left sqrt minus one right caret two equals sqrt minus one sqrt minus one equals minus one. 
seemed capriciously inconsistent with the algebraic identity a b equals a b display style sqrt a sqrt b equals sqrt ab which is valid for positive real numbers a and b and was also used in complex number calculations with one of a b positive and the other negative the incorrect use of this identity and the related identity 1 a equals 1 a display style frac 1 sqrt a equals sqrt frac 1 a in the case when both a and b are negative even bedeviled euler this difficulty eventually led him to the convention of using the special symbol i in place of minus 1 display style sqrt minus 1 to guard against this mistake the 18th century saw the work of Abraham de Mavre and Leonard Euler. De Mavre's formula 1730 states cos theta plus i sin theta n equals cos n theta plus i sin n Theta display style cos theta plus i sin theta caret n equals cos n theta plus i sin n theta. While Euler's formula of complex analysis, 1748, gave us cos theta plus i sin theta equals e i theta. Display style cos theta plus i sin theta equals e caret i theta. The existence of complex numbers was not completely accepted until Caspar Wessel described the geometrical interpretation in 1799. Carl Friedrich Gauss rediscovered and popularized it several years later, and as a result, the theory of complex numbers received a notable expansion. The idea of the graphic representation of complex numbers had appeared, however, as early as 1685, in Wallace's De Algebra Tractatus. Also in 1799, Gauss provided the first generally accepted proof of the fundamental theorem of algebra, showing that every polynomial over the complex numbers has a full set of solutions in that realm. The general acceptance of the theory of complex numbers is due to the labors of Augustin Louis Cauchy and Niels Henrik Abel, and especially the latter, who was the first to boldly use complex numbers with a success that is well known. Gauss studied complex numbers of the form a plus by, where a and b are integral, or rational, and i is one of the two roots of x2 plus 1. Topic. Zero. His student, Gotthold Eisenstein, studied the type A plus B omega, where omega is a complex root of x3 minus 1. 0. Other such classes called cyclotomic fields of complex numbers derive from the roots of unity xk minus 1 equals 0 for higher values of k. This generalization is largely due to Ernst Kummer, who also invented ideal numbers, which were expressed as geometrical entities by Felix Klein in 1893. In 1850 Victor Alexander Puot took the key step of distinguishing between poles and branch points, and introduced the concept of essential singular points. This eventually led to the concept of the extended complex plane. Topic. Prime numbers Prime numbers have been studied throughout recorded history. Euclid devoted one book of the elements to the theory of primes, in it he proved the infinitude of the primes and the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, and presented the Euclidean algorithm for finding the greatest common divisor of two numbers. In 240 BC, Eratosthenes used the sieve of Eratosthenes to quickly isolate prime numbers. But most further development of the theory of primes in Europe dates to the Renaissance and later eras. In 1796, Adrian Marie Legendre conjectured the prime number theorem, describing the asymptotic distribution of primes. 
Other results concerning the distribution of the primes include Euler's proof that the sum of the reciprocals of the primes diverges, and the Goldbach conjecture, which claims that any sufficiently large even number is the sum of two primes. Yet another conjecture related to the distribution of prime numbers is the Riemann hypothesis, formulated by Bernhard Riemann in 1859. The prime number theorem was finally proved by Jacques Hadamard and Charles de la vallée poussin in 1896. Goldbach and Riemann's conjectures remain unproven and unrefuted. Topic: Main classification. Numbers can be classified into sets called number systems, such as the natural numbers and the real numbers. The major categories of numbers are as follows. There is generally no problem in identifying each number system with a proper subset of the next one by abuse of notation, because each of these number systems is canonically isomorphic to a proper subset of the next one. The resulting hierarchy allows, for example, to talk, formally correctly, about real numbers that are rational numbers, and is expressed symbolically by writing n z q R C display style math b b n subset math b b z subset math b b q subset math b b r subset math b b c topic natural numbers The most familiar numbers are the natural numbers sometimes called whole numbers or counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Traditionally, the sequence of natural numbers started with 1 0 was not even considered a number for the ancient Greeks, however, in the 19th century, set theorists and other mathematicians started including 0 cardinality of the empty set, i.e. 0 elements, where 0 is thus the smallest cardinal number in the set of natural numbers. Today, different mathematicians use the term to describe both sets, including zero or not. The mathematical symbol for the set of all natural numbers is n, also written n and sometimes n zero or n one display style math bb n underscore one when it is necessary to indicate whether the set should start with zero or one respectively in the base 10 numeral system in almost universal use today for mathematical operations the symbols for natural numbers are written using 10 digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 the radix or base is the number of unique numerical digits, including zero, that a numeral system uses to represent numbers for the decimal system, the radix is 10. In this base 10 system, the rightmost digit of a natural number has a place value of 1, and every other digit has a place value 10 times that of the place value of the digit to its right. In set theory, which is capable of acting as an axiomatic foundation for modern mathematics, natural numbers can be represented by classes of equivalent sets. For instance, the number 3 can be represented as the class of all sets that have exactly three elements. Alternatively, in Peano arithmetic, the number 3 is represented as SSS0, where S is the successor function, i.e., 3 is the third successor of 0. Many different representations are possible, all that is needed to formally represent 3 is to inscribe a certain symbol or pattern of symbols three times. Topic. Integers The negative of a positive integer is defined as a number that produces zero when it is added to the corresponding positive integer. Negative numbers are usually written with a negative sign, a minus sign. As an example, the negative of 7 is written minus 7, and 7 plus minus 7 equals 0. When the set of negative numbers is combined with the set of natural numbers, including 0, the result is defined as the set of integers, z also written z. Display style math b b z. Here the letter z comes from German zal, meaning number. 
The set of integers forms a ring with the operations addition and multiplication, the natural numbers form a subset of the integers. As there is no common standard for the inclusion or not of zero in the natural numbers, the natural numbers without zero are commonly referred to as positive integers, and the natural numbers with zero are referred to as non-negative integers. Topic. Rational numbers. A rational number is a number that can be expressed as a fraction with an integer numerator and a positive integer denominator. Negative denominators are allowed, but are commonly avoided, as every rational number is equal to a fraction with positive denominator. Fractions are written as two integers, the numerator and the denominator, with a dividing bar between them. The fraction m, n represents m parts of a whole divided into n equal parts. Two different fractions may correspond to the same rational number, for example one half and two quarters are equal, that is 1 2 equals 2 4 display style 1 over 2 equals 2 over 4 in general a b equals c d Display style a over b equals c over d. If and only if a times d equals c times b. Display style a times d equals c times b. If the absolute value of m is greater than n, supposed to be positive, then the absolute value of the fraction is greater than one. Fractions can be greater than, less than, or equal to 1 and can also be positive, negative, or 0. The set of all rational numbers includes the integers since every integer can be written as a fraction with denominator 1. For example minus 7 can be written minus 7 over 1. The symbol for the rational numbers is q for quotient, also written q display style math bb q Topic. Real numbers The symbol for the real numbers is R, also written as R display style math bb R. They include all the measuring numbers. Every real number corresponds to a point on the number line. The following paragraph will focus primarily on positive real numbers. The treatment of negative real numbers is according to the general rules of arithmetic and their denotation is simply prefixing the corresponding positive numeral by a minus sign, e.g. minus 123.456. Most real numbers can only be approximated by decimal numerals, in which a decimal point is placed to the right of the digit with place value 1. Each digit to the right of the decimal point has a place value one-tenth of the place value of the digit to its left. For example, 123.456 represents 123,456 one thousandths, or, in words, 100, two tens, three ones, four tenths, five hundredths, and six thousandths. A real number can be expressed by a finite number of decimal digits only if it is rational and its fractional part has a denominator whose prime factors are 2 or 5 or both, because these are the prime factors of 10, the base of the decimal system. Thus, for example, one half is 0 0.5, one fifth is 0 0.2, one tenth is 0 0.1, and one fiftieth is 0 0.02. Representing other real numbers as decimals would require an infinite sequence of digits to the right of the decimal point. If this infinite sequence of digits follows a pattern, it can be written with an ellipsis or another notation that indicates the repeating pattern. Such a decimal is called a repeating decimal. Thus one third can be written as 0 0.333 with an ellipsis to indicate that the pattern continues. Forever repeating threes are also written as 0 0.3. It turns out that these repeating decimals including the repetition of zeros denote exactly the rational numbers, i.e., all rational numbers are also real numbers, but it is not the case that every real number is rational. A real number that is not rational is called irrational. A famous irrational real number is the number pi, the ratio of the circumference of any circle to its diameter. When pi is written as 
pi equals 3.141592653589979 display style pi equals 3.141592653589979 as it sometimes is, the ellipsis does not mean that the decimals repeat, they do not, but rather that there is no end to them. It has been proved that pi is irrational. Another well-known number, proven to be an irrational real number, is 2 equals 1.4142135 Display style SQRT 2 equals 1.4142135 dots. The square root of 2, that is, the unique positive real number whose square is 2. Both these numbers have been approximated by computer to trillions 1 trillion. Topic 1012 1 trillion of digits Not only these prominent examples but almost all real numbers are irrational and therefore have no repeating patterns and hence no corresponding decimal numeral they can only be approximated by decimal numerals, denoting rounded or truncated real numbers. Any rounded or truncated number is necessarily a rational number, of which there are only countably many. All measurements are, by their nature, approximations, and always have a margin of error. Thus 123.456 is considered an approximation of any real number greater or equal to 1,234,555 ten thousandths and strictly less than 1,234,565 ten thousandths rounding to three decimals, or of any real number greater or equal to 123,456 one thousandths and strictly less than 123,457 one thousandths truncation after the three decimal digits that suggest a greater accuracy than the measurement itself does should be removed the remaining digits are then called significant digits for example measurements with a ruler can seldom be made without a margin of error of at least 0.001 meters if the sides of a rectangle are measured as 1.23 meters and 4.56 meters, then multiplication gives an area for the rectangle between 5.614591 square meters and 5.603011 square meters. Since not even the second digit after the decimal place is preserved, the following digits are not significant. Therefore, the result is usually rounded to 5.61. Just as the same fraction can be written in more than one way, the same real number may have more than one decimal representation. For example, 0 0 0.999 1.0, 1.00, 1 1.000 all represent the natural number 1. A given real number has only the following decimal representations, an approximation to some finite number of decimal places, an approximation in which a pattern is established that continues for an unlimited number of decimal places or an exact value with only finitely many decimal places. In this last case, the last non-zero digit may be replaced by the digit 1 smaller followed by an unlimited number of nines, or the last non-zero digit may be followed by an unlimited number of zeros. Thus the exact real number 3.74 can also be written 3.73999999 and 3.74000000000. Similarly, a decimal numeral with an unlimited number of zeros can be rewritten by dropping the zeros to the right of the decimal place, and a decimal numeral with an unlimited number of nines can be rewritten by increasing the rightmost minus nine digit by one, changing all the nines to the right of that digit to zeros. Finally, an unlimited sequence of zeros to the right of the decimal place can be dropped. For example, 6.8499999999999 